Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, we went to, well now it's the Horespexus lair, but it was our father's lair. And we learned all about making tinctures and identifying illnesses and where this, what layer the symptom lies on and all of that stuff. So we learned, well, a crap ton, honestly. <laughs> a really, really, really big amount. It's kind of so much complexity that I'm worried, like, I... I'm especially worried about being able to carry everything, all of the tinctures and pills and stuff and morphine, things like that, that I'm going to need to actually diagnose people. I wonder when my first real diagnosis is going to happen. Hopefully not today, because I don't actually have any pills. I have the tinctures that can reveal what the illness is, but I don't have the pills to actually cure it. Hmm. Anyway. It's 6.19 p.m. Oh, one of the things we learned is that we can actually upgrade our inventory size, which is going to be absolutely vital. Even without the tinctures and stuff, it's still vital. With them, it's even more so. And I wrote in a little list to do what we need. We need red thread, needle, and some cloth thing that I don't think I've seen before. I have the needles, of course, but red thread I need. And the cloth thing I need. So I'm going to be super on the lookout for that, and I'll trade almost anything for it. <clears throat> we don't have that much time left in the day. I think I'm going to... I want to speak with... Big Vlad. See if I can get them... See if I can get them to open up the termitary, because I really want to speak with Taya Taichik. I kind of suspect Taya Taichik is the one listed here as in danger the eighth wait wait a minute did i not realize this connection before remember when we buried the doll near the beginning of this day and the kids told me we were burying the eighth they're, they're called the eighth uh uh-oh I just symbolically killed them at the beginning of the day. It doesn't say they're dead though, so I can probably still do something. And I guess Taya Taichi can't be the eighth actually, because they're a separate person listed here. Yeah, okay, so that's not them. Anyway, I still want to open up the termitary. So I think, hmm, I think I'm going to run over here where the kids are going to be spending time at the station and then right next to that is the specific house where they spend time at and I'm supposed to meet someone here and talk to Khan and the polyhedron kind of just do all of that in a line and then I guess on my way back go to Big Vlad sure let's go fast what oh now that I have a place, they actually bought me the, the bowl that I bought. I totally forgot about you, buddy. <clears throat> Sign Baina. Hello. No care, nay. See, I brought your bowl. Cleaned it up, too. We Katonge never swindle one another. I hope it does talk one day. So you say it'll warn me of danger? It will, no care, nay. You believed me, and for that, you'll be rewarded. Mother Bodo and Suok be my witness. Bayarla, Keala. Thank you. I'll call it Lucky Find. Whoa. We can have a conversation. Wonder Bull. Uh, got anything to say? <clears throat> Ara Basoli. Got any surprises in store for me? How long do I need to wait? Shake your head at least. I hope you're not about to talk just yet. I guess I should give you a name. Hmm. Partner, silent, or eternity. Ooh, this is an interesting option. It's not right to impose a name upon someone. Perhaps you want to introduce yourself. 
Maybe they'll tell me who they are when they do talk. Hmm. Ah, I want them to be my partner, you know? So I can say, howdy, partner. I'll call you... No care. Partner. So that you won't let me down, Keala. Yes. It suits you. Yeah. No care. Partner. Hey, partner. What a nice partner. I'm really glad that I bought him. I don't... Uh, I was just thinking about the bull's bell. <coughs> Excuse me. The bull's bell that I have stored down in the hideout. I don't think I could put it on them. I mean, how would I? There's, I, I can't interact with them now. Okay. Oh, wait, can I talk with you again? No. Follow the train tracks. And then hang right around the station. I could go speak with Bad Grief to see if they maybe sell fabric for me to buy. I didn't see that last time I talked with them. I mean, it's just right there. I might as well go, right? It's a very small detour. If only we knew who did away with your father, we'd spare the beast nothing. And here comes Artemy, Artemy of the Academy. What do you need? Any insight on what's going on around town? Oh sure, I've got insight. Got everything in sight. Death has his hands full. Our grand leader Simon drew his last breath. What else do you want to know about? The bosses and their schemes, or the rumor mill? Uh, Simon, by the way, that's Simon Cain. That must be the one Cain that died, right? Like, two big figures have died recently. Simon Cain and Isidore Brock. Bosses or rumor mill? Let's go for the rumor mill. Uh, let's see. Simon's dead, but you already knew that. The ground refused to accept your dad, you know that too. An awful bachelor arrived from the capital. Some odd girl arrived at the same day as you, too. Curious one. Half sure she's some saint. Tore my soul out, hanged it out to dry. Well, I think I knew all of that. I guess that's the sort of thing where... <coughs> if I'd come here near the beginning of the day, then that stuff might kind of give me some hints as to what's going on. But now that it's near the end of the day, I've kind of already encountered all of that, pretty much. How did Simon die? No one knows. Felt feverish, I guess. You notice he's been joined at the hip with your dad. Glove and hand. Always together, conspiring. Probably engineering a future for us stupid creatures. So Simon Kane and my dad were spending a lot of time together. Huh. Uh, the Canes are still in charge, then. Still the same. Sabrov the Hawk is in charge, but he's all squawk. <laughs> the Canes, as usual, rack their brains on how to move the town downriver. Quacks all. The tower already floats. Mark my words, it'll hang the next district in the clouds. <laughs> as for the master, well, he's the master. You mean Fat Flat? Sure do. He's sitting pretty, the ugly bastard. Put me at the heart of the warehouses. No complaints here. Quaint little abode, and under my feet a whole railroad. You don't bother Vlad, and he won't bother you, neither. Oh, I love... God, I love the writing in this game. I love the little rhyme here. Quaint little abode, and under my feet a whole railroad. That's just fun to say. Quaint little abode, and under my feet a whole railroad. He's a scumbag. He's a money bag first and foremost, friend. He runs this whole machine, feeds the town, allows us to earn our keep. Not just me, but everyone here. How many folks work at the cannery, at the station? 
The warehouses alone house 400, and everyone gets paid solid coin. Yeah, coin, just one, barely enough to survive. You step people, all you know is herding cows and pushing plows. We have to look to tomorrow, cub. You think the Canes are interested in architecture for, what, its own sake? Even so, who will pay for it? Gotta think with your stomach some of the time. The Master is a shrewd man. Although, he did ban entrance to the Termitary. Of that, I wasn't a fan. What's going on with that? Folks there had problems with Fat Vlad, and it almost turned violent. Makes sense, too. 5,000 animals are bound to turn into beasts. Your kind is like a pack of dogs. One howls and the rest follow. But still. Pack of dogs? Check a mirror. Your tongue's so loose it licks the ground. Just throwing a bit of sass back at him, you know? Yeah, no fabric. I don't think I want to buy any of these things. Maybe needles? Not with money, though. I'd rather barter for them. And I've got 19 needles on me right now. That's plenty for now. Could sell my scalpel. Scalpel? Scalpel for 520. Revolver ammo is only worth 80 each. That's not that much. Considering how rare it is. A little bit cheaper than I thought. I'm sure it'll get more expensive, though, of course. Alright, let's go. see a bunch of kids. Yeah. The air is so hazy. Twire in bloom. Hey. <clears throat> White, yellow, red, blue, green. What are you kids doing? Train summoning. Is it working? There's too few of us. Not enough power. Is it like tug of war? Why do you ask, Uncle Hunchback? <laughs> and you're so huge, like a giant. Uncle Hunchback? What the fuck? Thanks, kid. I sure am. Eat healthy and you'll be just as big. Actually, no, forget that. Can I help? Actually, you are really big. Maybe you can help. Do you know how to train someone? Hmm, I used to, but it's been a while. Look, first you have to wish really, really hard for it to come. Can you do that? Definitely. Next, you have to give it a name. It needs to be an adjective, so that, so that it'll be adjacent. Got it? Hmm, an adjective. Inevitable, black, abrupt iron. <clears throat> what kind of train do I want? An iron train? An abrupt train? A black train? An inevitable train? That... None of those... None of those sound good, actually. Um... An iron? Iron? Last, find the dead end of a railroad. The southernmost one that goes into the steppe and curves a bit. Stand there and think real hard about how it needs to come soon and call it by the name held in your mind. Will you? The southernmost one. Oh, I don't know if I have time for that. Mm, 
perhaps I'll try. Later. The southernmost tip would be... I mean, it looks like it goes off the map. Down there. It's not that far away. I don't have that much time, though. I... Ah! Mm. On one hand, it feels like it's probably a waste of time. On the other hand... Damn, am I curious. Two weeks late already. And I'm waiting for a wonderful parcel. Wait on your Amazon package? I know that feeling. Candy? Nope. Stamps. And my daddy's peaked cap from the war. Well, sounds cool. Racing train. Fast, faster, fastest train. Speedy. Lightning quick. Uh, immediate. Uh, I guess I'm choosing wrong names. Speedy, lightning, I mean... I guess those are adjectives, right? You're doing fine, kid. Those names seem fine. Right. Do I go to the southernmost end, considering it's about 7 p.m.? <clears throat> hmm. I'm never going to be closer than now, right? Let's go. It obviously seems like just a silly kids game, but the kids are rather special in this town. start to go, like, off the map, or at the edge of the map. Surely I'm about off the map, right? Almost. see anything to stop me. I'm scared. I'm not on the map anymore. I don't like it. I wonder if these are herbs I'm seeing. I feel like I'm about to find something in the mist, you know? Or I'm going to keep going and find that I'm now going the opposite direction and I'm going back to the town. Uh, I don't like not being on the map. Oh man, this is taking longer than I thought. I thought I would just have to go to the end of the map, not far, far, far past the end of the map. It turns here? Finally, something changes. <laughs> mm. What time is it? I've already... Spent like an hour doing this, I think. Or half hour, I'm not sure. Oh no, what have I done? Game, please stop me. I'll take an invisible wall. Anything. Hmm. 
At least I get to stare at jumpy mice. They're going with me. We're all going the same direction. Fucking hell. Invisible wall. There is an invisible wall. Okay. Well. Now I'm supposed to just stand still and just like... Think of the name? Not say it out loud? I mean, I'll say it out loud, okay? It's fine. What name do I want to go with? Iron... Iron what? <coughs> hmm. Iron Behemoth. I want it real, real bad. Come on. Bring food. I know I'm wasting time, but I've <sighs> I'm like listening to the wind thinking like, am I hearing something? back. Oh, so many mice, my god. I love them. I wonder if I can go back and tell the kids, like, whoa. What's that sound? Is that just the soundtrack, or is it something else? Almost... I think it was just activated by the time. Because it hit... 8 p.m. Man, I'm just like, hearing what I want to hear. This game's messing with my head, I'm like, is that the sound of a train in this... soundtrack? I almost want to just like, I almost want to min-max and just like load my save game and not do that, but I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to live with that. I think that's way more interesting. And uh, hey, actually this long, long, long walk back is a good opportunity to talk about what the developers have said about um, like how, how difficult they intend the game to be and how they intend it to play out. <clears throat> Specifically, I saw them talking about um, difficulty and mentioning that it's actually designed and expected that you won't be able to do everything that you want to do each day. Am I on the map again? Yes. So it's meant to be that way, so missing stuff and running out of time is intended. It feels bad. Feels really bad, but it is intended. I think it was just pretty much the fact that I already kind of knew what to expect for the first day because I restarted it. I think that's pretty much the only reason I was able to do everything for that day. I want to go back and speak with those kids. Just see if I can. Is there something over here? Is that a dog? Is it a... Oh, that's a toy. A little folding screen? Somebody live here? I feel like... I feel like there was a 
strange person that lived in a train car in the first pathologic. I don't remember their name. I don't remember them being someone I talked to very much. Oh yeah, that's that's like a thing of... Uh, we saw something just like that. Outside the front of the kid's place at the, the Solon Haves. So, kid lives here? Pictures that they've drawn? Super strong, lifting up a bull. Nice. They're not here right now, though. Hmm. Oh, the kids are gone. Probably because of the time. I gotta go up here. Oh, I think that might be all the kids hanging out on the bench. Can't talk with them, though. Can't trade anything. Is this the place? Yep, kids hang out here. <clears throat> Okay. Well, that's creepy as hell. Please tell me that's not drawn in, like, bull's blood or something. Oh. The sky hey, is Cabela. cloudy, yet Earth awaits your casket, and filling your pockets is a whole lot of crickets. What? You've interrupted a difficult conversation. I think you should leave. Mm. Sorry, but I'm not leaving. Everything that's happening is too important for me to feel embarrassed about social improprieties. Perhaps I can help. I understand there are things you want to know. You think we might tell you if you ask right, but we won't. Not now. You're an interloper. Hmm. Fine. I'm leaving them. Who are you, by the way? A single glance at you makes me wonder. Why am I glancing at you? Yeah, they really want me to fuck off out now. Anyway, that's Maria Kana. I've heard them referenced before. I, th I think Maria Kana is supposed to be someone who has the power of clairvoyance. When I was talking with Capella, they were mentioning other people that have that power. I think Marina Kano was one of them. Who are you? One more word from you and everything will break. I told you to get lost. Are you stupid? No, I hear you loud and clear. They're in the nerves. They deeply want me to fuck off. I gotta take a quick look around, though. Okay, I'm gone. Goodbye. Ah! Life blooms only while love breathes. Love is vital. How can I make you see? So why did you interrupt our argument? I didn't even know there was an argument. What argument? There used to be two mistresses, right? Nina and Victoria. One burned, the other soothed. Nina died, so Katerina replaced her. Then Victoria died, and Katerina was torn apart. Now there are no more mistresses. The town is unprotected. Do you follow? Oh, wait, I think I do. Nina and Victoria Kana, right? Both of them? Nina died. Victoria died. Katerina was torn apart. There's no more mistresses. The town is unprotected. Do you follow? Um, I think the mistresses might 
be people with a power of clairvoyance who try to protect the town using their power. So I think they might have been arguing about who should be the mistress because they both have powers of clairvoyance, I think. I do. <clears throat> Nina and Victoria are dead. Katarina is incapable, so their daughters are coming into power. There have always been two mistresses. Now there are three of us. That's too many. Only one will remain. Do you get just how important that is? Wait, only one will remain? I thought there's always been two. And what happens to the other ones? And the lucky one will be you, of course. Perhaps. Maybe I should go back, back to them and tell them of your good intentions. Listen carefully, Brock. Look at me. I will make it so that you can only talk to people when it doesn't interfere with my plans. This is your first warning. If you get in my way again, I'll take your speech away completely. Okay, I'm scared. I'm gonna be spiteful. Well, now I'll go back and talk to the girls just to spite you. I love middling with the future. Oh, so you don't believe me? Be my guest. Go back and talk to the girls then. Or try to. You're a funny girl. I'm scared. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I just can't. Can't talk to them. <laughs> you little shit. Fucking creeper. All right. Oh yeah, the town is calling me over here. Oh, there's some soul and a halves there. Um, hold on, I need water super badly. 